Well hello there and welcome to the video. Something a little bit different today. We are about to head off to pick up a haul of stock. Now a few weeks ago we met a lady at a yard sale event and we bought some items off her and then we got talking about all of her stock. She had some of the stock she had on the stall and loads more in storage. So we ended up exchanging numbers and we've been communicating ever since and we have eventually come to an agreement and a price for us to buy all of her inventory. So we are now heading out cash in hand to buy the stock and I'm just hoping it's all going to fit in the car and it'll just be one car load but we'll see. I don't know. So if I can I will film while we're there and uh, you'll be able to see what we have just bought. Okay, we've just arrived at the house and typically it started raining, which is not ideal if we're gonna be moving all the stock in the rain. Quite heavy as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, we're just gonna to have to go for it. Yeah. We currently have an empty and filthy car. <laughs> right, it's in. We actually have quite a lot of space left, as you can see. So that is everything. We've just finished packing the car and it's now properly raining. So we got it in just in time, I think. It got a little bit damp, but not too bad. So we did push quite hard on price to make this worth going on. Price per item is 45 pence. Yeah. Um, there are some low value stuff in there. Yeah, I was going to say, some of it, it will even itself out, because some of it will get more on and other stuff, you know. Yeah, it's, it's low. we did our research on this, so we're fairly confident. Um, the beauty of a lot of this is it's small, so storage isn't a big issue. Also, it will sh most of this will ship as, as a large letter, um, which is awesome. Keeps the postage costs down. Plus, a lot of it we have a hundred of this item, two hundred of that item, whatever. So it's multiple, so it's easy to list, and then you sell off one listing. Yeah. Also, a lot of it is really giftable for Christmas. It like ticks all the boxes. This yeah, all stocky fillers, it's good. Um, so yeah, we're quite happy. It's it's torrential <laughs> now. <laughs> it's absolutely hammering it down. Yeah. Um, so I think we'll leave the stock in the car tonight. Uh, we'll carry on this video another day and show you a bit more in detail. We got that in just in time. Look at the rain now. Yuck. Okay, hello, it's now the next day. We've just brought all of the stuff in from the car and I've spread it out in the front room. The light's not very good in here, but we'll just have to work with it. So I thought I'd just give you an overview, show you the stock. I'm not going to remember all the prices that we hope to get back on this, but I'll, I'll pick out some of the highlights for you and let you see what we've got. Okay, so we've got a load of stuff down here on the floor and the rest is spread around on the sofa. So if we have a look in here, um, I do remember looking these up, these are okay. Um, these have sold anywhere between 10 and 20 pounds a pack. It's a pretty good make. So they've got hole punches and staplers in. Um, there's loads of this sort of stuff that we will probably bundle up. At least it's the, you know, the decent post-it brand. Um, but we'll probably make up different bundles of these. I think that's most of what's in there. Um, these won't hold much value, uh, there's more post-it notes in there that we'll do bundles with, more light stuff in there, pretty good, post-it notes, <laughs> oh, some cool coloured ones down there, um, then we're on to pens and pencils and more pencils, um, I think packs like this we'll probably be looking for about £10 a pack and there's loads. I think these were about 
seven or eight pounds a pack, that sort of thing. And again, perfect large letter, easy to ship. Multiples on one listing, good stuff. This sort of thing will be cheaper. We may do um, you know, two or three packs to make it worth selling with that sort of stuff. Loads of these uh, for younger kids. Easy start pencils, highlighters by the hundred. Um, some of these do quite well actually, so they should be easy to shift. Perfect for kind of back to school, that sort of time. Uh, pens, decent brand there, Faber-Castell. What are these? Faber-Castell again. Is that a sharpener? I don't know, is that a sharpener? Not sure. <laughs> uh, adding stuff in here. And bit. So yeah, happy with that stuff. We then have a mountain of reams of this. Um, it's 80, 80 gram, 80 GSM paper, like 500 sheets in a ream. And yeah, not sure on value on that or whether we'll do that on eBay or, or what we'll do with that. But there's a lot of weight there. But when you think our per item cost is 45 pence, bargain. Um, we have some bigger packs up here. Um, some writable media. Um, these Avery uh, office sets, I think they originally retailed at 20. I'm not sure what we'll get back on that. Some more Lego stuff. These are uh, luggage tags. They're cool. I like those. Batman bunny. These. This takes me takes me back to <laughs> Scotch tape. Anyone remember when I bought loads and loads of Scotch tape? Um, but these aren't great. I think we may struggle a bit on these, but Andrea was saying if we market them for Christmas gift wrapping, we've got kind of Christmassy colours, pinks and purples. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are the sort of things we will bundle up um, to get shot. I don't think they're particularly good. Um, but more kind of very giftable stationery sets. More of those Avery packs here. Again, these are the lower end value wise and we will bundle up to get our investment back on these. The money is in the decent stuff. Um, here. Barrel pens. Pelican. Parker. Well, Parker's quite a decent brand. Oh, still got <laughs> still got a tag on that. Have to cut that off. Um, all of this was bankrupt stock from a closing down shop, and another good reason for going on this and uh, making the contact is that the lady who had all of this um, gets hold of bankrupt stock, so it's a really good contact to have made. Um, all of these highlighter packs, uh, easy to sell. These are quite nice. These are uh, little portfolio cases, A4 size. Three of those. It's a bit later now and I've sorted through it a bit better, so I thought I'd show you some more. Uh, this is all Sharpies, which are pretty good. These, I've never seen these before. Uh, fabric markers. Looks like they sell for about £10 a pack which is cool. Oh, oh, someone's been doodling on it. You know how people in shops doodle on stuff to check the pens. <laughs> um, yeah, a bunch of those. And then we've got neon sharpies and electro pop sharpies. I think these are about a five or a pack. So yeah, they're pretty good. We've got loads of blue tack, which 
does not hold much value, but we will, you know, bundle a bunch of these up together. Um, yeah, plenty of that. Um, oh yeah, these are okay. Um, packs of Papermate ink joy pens, 50 in a box. I think that's in a comfortable sort of 10 to 12 pound a box. So yeah, I've got a load of those. And then under here, uh, a load of duplicate books, which I've sold similar things before uh, and they went really well. So these are cool. Some are in cellophane, some are not. Yeah, they should be easy to sell. Like uh, receipt books, basically. Um, we're happy. Um, most of the stuff, as you saw, there's going to be plenty of margin in it. The stuff where there's not much margin, we just bundle that up and clear it. It's fine. There is a slight issue with space. Uh, if you look around in here, I have no space. So I think the plan will be to um, store that in the loft and we will, we will get the stuff listed. We'll rack what we can down here. Um, I think I need to make some inroads on clearing some of the bulky stuff in here and then we'll get it where we can, we'll rack it in here eventually. But short term, it'll probably be put out of the way in the loft. Um, and it shouldn't take too long to list it. I don't know how many individual lines we've got, but as you saw, one of the beauties of this is that it's multiples. So you create one listing for a set of pencils or whatever it is, and it's 50 available. Go right and it just sits out and sells off one listing love that we should be able to use product images uh, for our photos which we'll be able to find online easily and where we're bundling up we will just work out a decent sized bundle and create a listing and do multiples of those so yeah looking forward to getting on I ideally I want to get that stuff listed quick because a lot of it you saw is kind of very giftable a lot of it is kind of kids stuff and packs and felt pens and coloring pencils perfect stocking filler stuff so we need to get all of that on over the next month or so so there you go that's our little haul uh, it wasn't a van full this time <laughs> it wasn't you know 5,000 car parts or a thousand pairs of shoes it's a load of stationery so something a little bit different. Thank you so much for watching. I will link up here another one of our haul videos. So take a look at that one if you want to. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.